Today I'm going to show how to integrate AWS SNS with Slack channel without Lambda. Why we need Lambda? Yes, of course. Whenever we add the, uh, Slack as a subscription uh, for the SNS topic, the SNS topic send a subscription uh, confirmation message. But the message it sent from the SNS, the Slack cannot read or interpret it. That's where the people start using the Lambda to integrate SNS with Slack. But with this tutorial, what I'm going to show you how to how to integrate SNS Slack without Lambda step by step. So as usual, if you like my content, uh, please like and subscribe and really appreciate it. Okay, let's get in. I'm back in the AWS console and what you can see, I already created a topic, uh, just a standard type of topic. Uh, but if you go inside the topic, you can see there, there's no any subscription. So what I'm going to do, I'm creating a, a Slack channel, I'll go to the Slack channel and create a channel and get the VPUK URL and come back and add subscription over here. So now let's go to our uh, Slack channel first. I'm in uh, my Slack. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new channel. So in this case, either you can create a new channel or you can use existing channel. So in my case, what I'm going to do, I'm creating a new channel. Click on the add channel and give it a name and uh, click on create. Right, so click on create. All right, it's asking to add more people. In this case, I'm just ignore. Right. Uh, this is the, the channel I just created. What I'm going to do, I'm click on this uh, little icon, little arrow icon. Then uh, go to the integration. And it shows either you can select a workflow or apps. In our case, this scenario, what we are gonna do, we add a workflow. Click on the add workflow and uh, then create. Uh, click on the create workflow. Uh, give it a name. So I'm giving the integration uh, workflow. This is a name and uh, next. So this is where you can start with the uh, different different uh, option. In this case, what I'm going to select a webhook, the very last option, select webhook. So once you click the webhook end of this uh, screen, what we get a webhook URL. So that's the, the webhook URL we go to uh, SNS and AWS SNS and uh, add as a subscription. So the best one of the the critical thing, the important thing is you need to add a variable here. So what we can do, we add a variable and uh, give it a name as a subscribe URL. This this key is case sensitive. You must type subscribe URL uh, S capital and the URL is capital. So keep it as a, a data type is six. This is the the uh, the one of the property in the payload which come from the SNS. So uh, I subscribe URL and uh, click on the next. Right, so the next step is we need to add a step. So once you click add on step, what it says uh, you can send a message or send a form. In this case, what we're gonna select a uh, send a message. The actually, the idea is whenever uh, the SNS publish a message, it's we need to send that message to uh, one of our Slack channel. So what we're gonna do, we click on the add send message. And here we need to select the, the, the actual channel where we want to push this message. In our case, we need to select uh, uh, our channel, which is Slack SNS integration demo and the uh, message. So it, this is the, uh, the uh, one of the uh, critical point. Over here, what we gonna build one of the, we need to mention a property, one of the property which coming from SNS uh, payload. So the first payload is, first property we gonna track is subscribe URL. So what we gonna do, uh, click on the message. This is, a, you can customize the uh, message, for example, cust message demo, for example, and uh, the insert variable. When you click on the insert variable, you can see one of the pro one of the key we added uh, in the previous uh, step, which is subscribe URL. We select subscribe URL, and then uh, just click on save. 
So everything is pretty much okay. What we need to do, we need to click on the publish. Whenever we pub click on the publish, we should get the uh, URL over here. Uh, just copy the this URL and then let's go back to our AWS console. I'll copy this URL and go back to our topic. Then what we need to do, we need to add a new, sub new subscription. Click on create subscription and the protocol you need to select HTTPS. Uh, make sure topic is this and the uh, protocol is HTTPS and uh, you need to paste the URL, the webhook URL we just got from the Slack as an endpoint in endpoint. That's pretty much you need to do. Then you need to create, uh, click on the create subscription. Uh, right, once you click subscription, I go back to my topic again. As you can see, the subscription got uh, added, but the status is pending confirmation. Though that's that's the way I, I mentioned people start using the Lambda because this subscription confirmation, subscription confirmation message, it's not comes to Slack if you do not use the uh, variable. So I'm going back to my Slack and I'm and you can see the message we got some message you can see the in our channel this is our channel and you can see the message demo and come with the subscription confirmation uh, URL this is uh, uh, the uh, this is the uh, URL you need to copy or you can click on of course I'm, I'm going to copy this URL go back to my browser open a new tab and just paste and enter. So whenever it's done, yeah, it says, uh, it's returned some uh, message. And if I go back to my topic and I give it a refresh, the status should be changed to confirm. So as you can see, we, sub we confirm our subscription, then the SNS can start sending the message. Before sending the message, just one um, uh, one change we need to do in a Slack channel again. So what I am going to do, if I, if I I'm go back to my Slack channel and click on the integration, uh, the click icon, and I am updating the integration again. So go to the integration, add workflow. And so this is the, the integration what we created. What we're going to do, we, we're going to edit this workflow and go back to the first uh, uh, button which is edit what we're going to do we're going to edit the uh, variable so if i go back to this variable uh, because subscribe url no we don't need any more subscribe url because we subscribe the uh, uh, confirmation so what we need to do we need to change this one into message right. so again this key message the message there's a property in the payload which come from SNS. That's the one we are going to pick. So uh, make sure we need to change the message. Otherwise you can't send the message from the SNS to Slack. Uh, click on the save again. And if I go back to, I'll show you the, it's got automatically uh, in the message body, you can see the mess, it's got automatically changed because we changed to subscribe URL to message. We don't need to do anything, just cancel and then we need to publish uh, change because we did some changes. We need to publish, right? So that's done. If I uh, close in this one, then go back to our Slack channel. As you can see, this is a subscription URL. Then I'm what I'm going to do. I'm go back to my uh, topic. I'm start sending a message. I'm click on the publish message. What I'm going to do? I'm sending a. a a manual uh, manual is sending a message this is a test a subject and this is the actual body let's say this is the test message from sns to slack right this is a message body what we're going to do we we publish this message to a topic so then this message should be delivered to or dispatched to our Slack channel. If I go back to Slack channel, 
as you can see this message got uh, dispatched to slack channel so this is the message body this as you can see test message from sna slack if i go back to uh, my slack uh, sns if i send another one let's uh, this is a test two test two let's say uh, a little bit bigger message we can copy something this to make sure we get a little bit bigger and if i send message again and go back to my slack channel as you can see message it's got dispatched into slack channel so this is how you can integrate slack with the sns without any lambda so as you can see there are so many tutorial uh, for the integration slack and the sns with lambda this tutorial is just without lambda because we don't need to create any lambda if, if really uh, not necessary right so that's pretty much the today tutorial hope uh, you guys enjoy and uh, again uh, one thing if you want to get the subject again so let's say for a uh, one thing is if you want to get the subject in this case let's say the publish message you want to get the even subject just yes, still you can get the subject for example you want to do if you go back to uh, integration uh, you need to update the integration go back and uh, edit and uh, we need to add a variable a new variable which is called subject and copy save and then you need to add it into uh, your message body basically uh, you need to uh, customize message this is a subject then you can insert your subject message and you need to publish of course as far as you change something you need to publish so that's how you need to do whenever you send a message from the slack channel uh, sns you should get all the uh, good stuff in uh, uh, your slack so right so that's pretty much uh, uh, tutorial again and uh, let's say uh, if you have uh, any question or uh, error while you are doing this demo uh, please uh, comment below i'm happy to help or and happy to reply so uh if you like my content finally uh please like and subscribe it really appreciated let's uh, see you on next uh, video thanks bye